In nature, every advantage increases an animal's chances of survival, and therefore its chances of reproducing. This simple fact has caused animal species to evolve a number of special adaptations that help them find food and keep them from becoming food. One of the most widespread and varied adaptations is natural camouflage, an animal's ability to hide itself from predator and prey. Hi, welcome to Thera Planet. Now we're talking about how common animals use camouflage to their benefit. Camouflage is a type of coloration or pattern that helps an animal blend in with its surroundings. It is common among invertebrates, including some species of octopus and squid, along with a variety of other animals. Camouflage is often used by prey as a way to disguise themselves from predators. It is also used by predators to conceal themselves as they stalk their prey. Both predators and prey animals use camouflage to their advantage. Predators blend in with the background so their prey won't see them approaching until it's too late. Prey animals need to blend in as well, so hungry predators pass right by them. There are many different ways animals and insects can blend in with their surroundings. We're going to explore seven of them. But wait, before continue this video, please hit subscribe and ring the bell, so you know when we launch new video. Number 7. Color Matching. Color matching is one of the most basic ways animals camouflage themselves. They're able to blend in simply by matching the color of their surroundings. One of the biggest shifts in an animal's surroundings occurs with the changing of the seasons. In the spring and summer, a mammal's habitat might be full of greens and browns, while in the fall and winter, everything can be covered with snow. While brown coloration is perfect for a summer wooded environment, it makes an animal an easy target against a white background. Many birds and mammals deal with this by producing different colors of fur or feathers depending on the time of year. In most cases, either changing amounts of daylight or shifts in temperature trigger a hormonal reaction in the animal that causes it to produce different biochromes. Some other animals have a type of seasonal camouflage. This includes the snowshoe hare, whose fur turns white in winter to match the surrounding snow. During summer, the animal's fur turns brown to match the surrounding foliage. Many fish species gradually produce different pigments without changing their diet. This works something like seasonal molting in mammals and birds. When the fish changes environments, it receives visual cues of a new surrounding model. Based on this stimulus, it begins to release hormones that change how its body produces pigments. Over time, the fish's coloring changes to match the new surroundings. Number 6. Concealing Coloration. Concealing coloration allows an animal to blend into its environment, hiding it from predators. Some animals have fixed camouflage, such as snowy owls and polar bears, whose white coloration helps them blend in with the arctic snow. Other animals can change their camouflage at will based on where they are. For example, Marine creatures such as flatfish and stonefish can alter their coloration to blend in with surrounding sand and rock formations. This type of camouflage, known as background matching, allows them to lie on the bottom of the seabed without being spotted. It is a highly useful adaptation. For most animals, blending in is the most effective approach. You can see this sort of camouflage everywhere. 
Deer, squirrels, hedgehogs and many other animals have brownish, earth tone, colors that match the brown of the trees and soil at the forest ground level. Sharks, dolphins and many other sea creatures have a grayish-blue coloring, which helps them blend in with the soft light underwater. Number 5. Active Camouflage Active camouflage or adaptive camouflage is camouflage that adapts, often rapidly, to the surroundings of an object. Active camouflage could provide perfect concealment from visual detection. Active camouflage is used in several groups of animals, including reptiles on land, and cephalopod mollusks and flatfish in the sea. Some animals have the ability to change their colors and patterns to help them blend in with their surroundings. Animals such as octopuses and flounder fish can quickly change their appearance. Most chameleons can change color and they do this by expanding or contracting cells in their skin that contain different pigments. They can blend into their surroundings by altering the color of their skin to match the background. Chameleons will also use their ability to switch color during social displays and they alter their coloration and pattern dramatically from the background. Number 4. Mimicry Mimicry is an evolved resemblance between an organism and another object, often an organism of another species. Mimicry may evolve between different species, or between individuals of the same species. Mimicry is a way for animals to make themselves look like related animals that are more dangerous or otherwise less appealing to predators. This type of camouflage is seen in snakes, butterflies, and moths. For example, the scarlet kingsnake, a type of harmless snake found in the eastern United States, has evolved to look like the coral snake, which is highly poisonous. Butterflies mimic other species that are poisonous to predators. In both cases, the animal's deceptive coloration helps ward off other creatures that might be looking for a meal. Number 3. Self-decoration. Sometimes animals and insects use what's available in the environment around them to blend in. For example, they may let moss grow on their shell or attach sea shells to their body to conceal themselves. Number 2. Animal Disguise Disguise is a type of camouflage where an animal takes on the appearance of something else in its environment. Some insects, for example, disguise themselves as leaves by changing their shading. There is even a whole family of insects, known as leaf insects or walking leaves, which are famous for this type of camouflage. Other creatures also disguise themselves, like the walking stick or stick bug, which resembles a twig. Number 1. Disruptive coloration. Many animals and insects use more than one color to help them blend in with their surroundings. Disruptive coloration includes spots, stripes, and other patterns that break up the outline of an animal's shape and sometimes conceal particular body parts. The stripes of a zebra's coat, for example, create a disruptive pattern that is confusing to flies, whose compound eyes have trouble processing the pattern. Disruptive coloration is also seen in spotted leopards, striped fish, and black and white skunks. Some animals have a particular type of camouflage, called a disruptive eye mask. This is a band of color found on the bodies of birds, fish, and other creatures that conceals the eye, which is usually easy to spot because of its distinctive shape. The mask makes the eye nearly invisible, allowing the animal to better avoid being seen by predators. This disruptive coloration is particularly effective when animals in a species are grouped together. To a lion, a herd of zebras doesn't look like a whole bunch of individual animals, but more like a big, 
striped mass. The vertical stripes all seem to run together, making it hard for a lion to stalk and attack one specific zebra. The stripes may also help a single zebra hide in areas of tall grass. Since lions are colorblind, it doesn't matter that the zebra and surrounding environment are completely different colors. Many fish species are similarly camouflaged. Their vertical stripes may be brightly colored, which makes them stand out to predators, but when they swim in large schools, their stripes all meld together. This confusing spectacle gives predators the impression of one big, swimming blob. We'd love to hear from you. What other animals have you seen use camouflage to blend in with their environment? Leave a comment below. As always if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, share with your friends and check out another videos on Thera Planet. Thanks for watching and see you next time.